Uh, my name is John Bemelmans Marciano, and I came to Books and Books in the Cayman Islands um, for my two new books, The Nine Lives of Alexander Battenfield and Madeline and the Old House in Paris. I did not call myself a natural artist. I, mean, I, I think I had some ability to draw, but mostly self-taught a lot of. When I was a kid, I loved comic books, and I pretty much learned how to draw from copying comic books. I started off with comic books. In college, I, I, I was doing painting, and I was trying to write other things, and, and I had a job at a small town newspaper. Um, Mid-90s, when multimedia internet stuff was first going on, I was, um, I, I, I was doing things online, so I never really cared exactly what the medium was. Um, I just wanted to tell stories, and the Madeline books, in a lot of ways, offered me my first real, real opportunity to, to do that for a living. Mostly, I just want the books to be fun. Picture books are unique because every other book, I think, you're just you're writing for directly to the audience, directly to the person who's reading it. Whereas with a picture book, you are writing for two other people. I mean, it's like it's, it's three people. There's the author, there's the kid, and then there's the parent or grandparent or teacher, whoever's reading to the kid. It's a really unique medium. So I think, if anything, what I want is to, with picture books, create something that is, like allows a kid and who they're reading with to experience. And I'm not trying to tell the entire story. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, create something where, where, where they can do it together. Um, whereas, you know, a book like Nine Lives, I'm just basically trying to have something that kids can just have fun. I've been doing the Madeline books now for for years and have gotten into, um, done so many school groups, so many events, and have read the books, and there's a, there's a lot of engagement. I've never been one of these people who wants to just put things on the screen or just show them. I really want to engage the kids. And it's been really fun with, the, probably the most memorable thing really has been with the new book, um, Nine Lives, which is for, you know, kids starting in fourth, fifth grade or sixth, seventh grade and just being able to interact with them and get them engaged and having them come up with their own stories. I, um, the most rewarding fun thing for me is hearing kids' ideas and then hearing them come up with something that I've never thought of before with characters and books that I've done and um, it's, just, it's just amazingly refreshing and fantastic. You know, most influential person is probably one of those people who it is just whoever, you know, kind of whatever I'm into at the moment, whoever I just read. Um, reading Bill Bryson, 1927. I do for, I, I like to do a lot of research for, for whatever I do. And as a um, follow up to Nine Lives, I'm doing a book that's set in, it's about kids, it's about, again, it's about bad kids, but set in the 1920s, so I wanted to read something. And I read a bunch of Bill Brightson's other books, and they're just, they're funny, and you know, it's nonfiction. So I just love his work. When it comes to kids' books, um, Tommy Unger and the Three Robbers is just my all-time favorite book. I mean, spare time, if you talk spare time, with my daughter, I mean, most of my, you know, most of what would pass for spare time these days would be just really enjoying, enjoying family time. And um, yeah, going to the beach. I wish we had beaches like this. Um, it's not, uh, but you know, hanging out. We, we, we live near a pier and, you know, just, um, yeah, pretty much that. I wish I was spending more time. Why didn't you guys book me for more time here? Like, I want two days of events next time. Um, yeah, it was great. I mean, being able to jog um, and then hop in the ocean and then, um, yeah, have, I've had conch fritters twice already. Um, and yeah, just, just, just be outside. It's fantastic. I love it. The coolest thing about writing books and going on book tours is just going to places that you have to go look on a map and find, and you're going to experience something different, and you're not going to, and and it's, and it's going to be different. And I mean, you know, and a great way to do that is is with schools and kids because you come and you know normally when you visit a place, you just you just you see a tourist spot or you go to something else, but um, you know when you do a cross section of schools, I mean, 
nothing is really hidden. I mean, you get what the culture is. To come here and actually, you know, get that there was a lot of different cultures and things going on was very cool.